Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Primitive Online YouTube channel. Um, I've been out for a while and um, the reason is because we have been working on developing an AI integrated paramedic design workflow. So I'll be covering some new emerging tools on this channel. Uh, so if you're interested in learning about how to integrate uh, stable diffusion tools to Rhino Grasshopper, um, you may want to stick around because it's going to be um, an interesting few months. Uh, uh, for us on this channel. Um, so today I have prepared um, our first workflow which is going to cover um, a preliminary demo of text-to-image uh, generation using stable diffusion and uh, to give you kind of an overall idea about how this works uh, we are actually running um, a code on a remote server that is um, running on one of our uh, powerful uh, computers on uh, the campus at Kadir Haas University. And uh, we are actually running stable diffusion algorithms there and um, having a port that is um, available to us. And uh, in Rhino Grasshopper, what we have done is we have integrated um, um, this, uh, this code through an API. Uh, so we can actually access uh, the server and send prompts uh, to uh, the stable diffusion algorithm. And um, it's actually working pretty um, pretty fast. And this is kind of an exciting uh, workflow for me as well. And I'll just show you um, a few um, ideas about how to work with this. Uh, first of all, we have uh, integrated um, a location where you can store your files so we can access uh, choose a directory. In my case, uh, I've created a new folder on my desktop uh, and renamed it as text to image. And then uh, we can actually enter some prompts. So here we have uh, positive and negative prompts that um, stable diffusion algorithms actually use. So um, in this example, I just want to generate some uh, random iterations of Zahadi towers. So I came up with a few keywords like Zahadi influence, um, parametric tower. We can actually um, add a few more. We can say architecture. Um, what else? Like uh, we could do blue sky um, and glass, for instance. And I have um, also written some negative uh, prompts uh, so that the algorithm wouldn't take into consideration. You can also leave this empty, but um, I have given it uh, some uh, some thought too. So let's say cubist. Um, we can say abstract, uh, and I think that will do. I'm not going to play around with inference and guidance for now, and our image resolution is going to be 512 pixels. And um, what happens is when I hit this run. Um, uh, this is actually sending a request to our remote uh, computer and it's actually generating the image and that image actually comes back um, to this folder and um, let's actually see and it's supposed to update but let me see if we can um, it's actually showing here but it didn't refresh there it is so it's actually giving us um, the image from the server and we can actually um, uh, show it as well as write it to a separate folder and that's what this component is doing so I'm setting up a path and inside of that path is generating uh, the image uh, or placing the image that is generated and also making a copy of it in a separate folder so you can actually keep track of um, the images that you generate so I'm going to hit uh, run a few times and you can see it's actually every time it's generating a random um, seed and according to that it's uh, giving us a different output so um, let's go ahead and play around with the parameters a bit more. So I'm going to take out uh, blue sky. I'm going to, um, let's say glass, uh, steel, and twisting uh, form. Uh, we can add some keywords. Here actually I'm going to take out colorful. Um, let's actually take out uh, blue, see if it can generate uh, an image with less blue in it. Uh, there we go. So it's um, it's giving us um, interesting outputs, uh, facades. Um, we can actually use uh, louvers, facades as an input in, input uh, prompt as well. 
So here, let's say facade, louver, and uh, metallic. Let's add those as well. So yes, we are getting, um, at each time I hit run, I get a new and different image. And these are actually being stored here in my uh, image folder. So you can see it's, uh, it's working pretty efficiently for now. Um, and uh, using this tool, we can actually generate uh, quite a few interesting results um, uh, with this new workflow um, using stable diffusion. Um, so over the past um, few weeks, we have been uh, working on integrating this tool to Grasshopper, but uh, in the upcoming weeks, I'll be releasing some more uh, tutorials about uh, how to do prompt engineering uh, and also um, develop some other types of workflows like image to image um, using uh, stable diffusion. And also uh, we have integrated an upscaler. So uh, all of these are right now um, running in Python, but um, we are planning to actually release it as a um, Grasshopper plugin. So uh, stay tuned for new updates and um, I'll see you on this channel. Take care.